Hello there everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to make your own perfume at home using essential oils. If you are new around here, my name is Marissa. I'm a pharmacist and health coach and I share lots and lots of videos every week on just simple and realistic ways for you to improve your health and live a healthy, happy life. I also share a lot of healthy recipes because I love to cook and I love to eat. And um, if you guys have not subscribed, then definitely click that button, join the community and um, make sure you turn on your notification bell so that you know when I post a new video. So I am a huge fan of essential oils. I absolutely love them. Um, I use them for so many different reasons and one of those reasons is perfume. So since you are watching this video, I'm going to assume that you actually want to make your own perfume because that's why you're watching this video. Um, but just in case you're kind of wondering like maybe why you would even want to make your own perfume using essential oils. Um, and I'm gonna explain to you like my reasons for it so um, I used to buy perfume. I used to buy the body mist. I used to go shopping. Um, I would go with, you know, friends and we would like make a whole day out of it. It was so much fun and I really enjoyed it. And you get dressed up, you go to the store, you're, you know, you see all the different bottles. They have the different names and it's just like the whole experience of buying it was just like always a really like fun experience for me. Um, however, being around the perfume as well as just using it was unfortunately not a positive experience for me. Um, it was, and for, for me specifically, it's a, it was always like a huge waste of money. And the reason is because those types of like perfumes and body mist, they contained fragrance, um, the ones that I was using, and a lot of perfumes contain synthetic fragrance. And um, those unfortunately give me terrible, terrible, migraines, headaches, I kind of feel nauseous when I'm around it. Um, and also it irritates my skin um, when you know, you're know you spraying it on your body. So unfortunately it was not a positive experience for me in terms of being around it and using it. Even if I didn't like use it on my body and I smelled it on somebody else and I was around them for you know a good bit of time that fragrance would like, you know, come over, you know, by me and I would smell it. And again, later on in the day, I'd get a headache like clockwork. So unfortunately, perfumes and I never really have gotten along very well. And um, I kind of thought that I was never going to be able to like use something like that. And then when I got started using essential oils and I started to realize that you can actually use these for perfume, I was so excited because then I could actually like reintroduce perfume into my life, but it's all natural and there's no synthetic fragrance. We're just using essential oils, which come from plants. So what's the deal with fragrance? Why is it causing me so many issues? Um, and fragrance is a distinct scent that's added into a product. It's good for branding, marketing, to make you smell good, like all the things. And um, the issue with it is that companies are not required to disclose what ingredients were used in order to create that particular fragrance and that is to protect their like trade secret you know that you know they don't want another company coming in and taking that scent and then it smells just like the other company so for them it's really good in terms of like you know branding and marketing and just keeping their stuff you know their stuff and not having to like have another company try to compete with you know um, because they're maybe taking that scent, um, which is good for the company, but unfortunately for the consumer, it's tricky because we don't know what was used in order to create it. And unfortunately, some um, chemicals that are listed, there's actually over 3,000 um, materials that could be used in any different type of combination in order to create a particular fragrance, um, to create a, you know, a a distinct scent for a product. And so we have no idea if like, like what type of chemical or what type of material was used in order to create the fragrance itself. And so we have no idea if it contains like a harmful chemical or not. And some of the materials that are listed in that, you know, list of over 3000 materials um, have been linked to um, neurotoxic effects like headaches, migraines, um, endocrine disruptions, so your hormones, um, 
and it can also potentially be linked to um, like respiratory uh, conditions. So if you are somebody who is like pre, you know, you already have like a respiratory issue, maybe like asthma or something, it can make it worse. It can cause some skin irritation. So there's just a lot of things that could potentially um, occur when you're using some of these chemicals. And again, we don't know what chemicals um, were added in what combinations and concentrations in order to create a particular fragrance. So that's the issue with it. And because of that, and the fact that my body just does not react well to it, I try to limit my exposure to fragrance as much as possible. Um, fragrance, once you start looking at ingredient lists on like products, um, I'm always a huge fan of looking at ingredients on you know food labels to see what it is that's in food that we're consuming. Um, but it's also important to look at the ingredient list on the products that we use you know, in our home, around our body, um, on our body, um, because fragrance is added into so many different things. Makeup, skincare, cleaning products, um, shampoo, conditioner, lotions, um, soaps, deodorant. Like there's just so many um, uh, products out there that um, potentially contain fragrance. And the best way to know for sure is to look at the ingredient list. If you see the word fragrance, there you go. Um, it's not a non-toxic product. Um, there's even some products out there that you know claim to be like clean, natural, safe. Um, but when you look at the ingredient list, it says fragrance. It's not really a totally non-toxic product because it contains fragrance in there. Um, that is actually uh, referred to as greenwashing. So it's still important to read ingredient lists. Don't just rely on what you know the front of the bottle of whatever product it is, is saying. And what is so nice about essential oils is that several of them, maybe not like all, all oils, there's like one or two that I can think of that I personally would not use as a perfume, um, but um, the majority of them smell so, so good. And you can use them as an all natural perfume, um, which is awesome. And you can also like kind of pick and choose which ones you want based off of like how they can support your body and your wellness. So if you're wanting to feel like, like, you know, sharp and um, like, like go getter, make your goals, your to-do list, like you can use oils that are really good for that kind of thing. Or you, if you're looking for something that you maybe want to feel more grounded and calm, you can choose different oils that will be really good for that. So you can really customize your perfume blends to whatever it is that you want to smell and also how you want to support your body and your wellness, which I think is really cool. And another reason why I think it's such a great idea to make your own perfume using essential oils is that once you have like a couple of essential oils, you don't need like 50, okay? But like if you have maybe like five or six um, essential oils, then you can really customize and make so many different types of perfume blends. Um, and it's so much more economical perfume, like good perfume can be so expensive. And when you buy it, you're getting one cent, that's it. Um, whereas with oils, you can like make different types and um, you're still gonna have plenty left over so that you can diffuse it, use it for other things. So it's just very versatile. And for me, I save so much money by using essential oils rather than buying perfume. So that's all the reasons why I like to make my own perfume at home using essential oils. And now I'm gonna share with you guys three perfume roller recipes today. Um, and if you would like to see like more tips, more recipes, even diffuser blend ideas, education with essential oils, um, you should head over to my brand new, uh, brand new Instagram account. I just created a new account separate from my Simply Health with Marissa account, and it's called Holistic and Oily Essentials. And I am dedicating this page to just talking about essential oils essential oils, specifically Young Living essential oils. And I'm gonna be, you know, doing oily education. I'm gonna be sharing like what I buy, you know, each month from Young Living, um, how I'm using the products. Um, I'm gonna be sharing diffuser blend ideas, roller recipes. Anytime that Young Living has a sale or a promo or free products that they're giving out, I'm gonna be sharing that over there as well. So um, I'm gonna leave a link for it down below in the description box. So I would love for you guys to follow me there if you would like to, you know, follow along and, get all this oily inspiration and education. Um, and uh, it's again, holistic and oily essentials um, on Instagram. 
So making rollers is incredibly simple and easy. I actually made a whole video where I walk you through step by step. It's pretty thorough um, on how to make a roller just in case you really want very like guided help on how to do this. Um, and I will leave a link for that video down below in the description box. I can also put it up on the screen here as well. So if you really want like step by step instructions on how to make a roller, again, it's super simple. Don't overcomplicate it. Um, but if you want that, I, I did make a video for it and you're more than welcome to take a look at that. Um, but what we're going to need in order to make our perfume rollers today include the roller bottle. Um, and I will link the, like all of my in, uh, materials that I've used. So the roller bottle, we're also going to use carrier oil, um, and then the essential oils that I'm going to be using, um, in each of those. I'm going to link that all down below in the description box for you guys. So you guys can easily find it. Okay, so the first perfume roller that we're going to make to together today um, has abundance and orange essential oil in it. So um, abundance is a blend. It's got a bunch of other oils already combined in here. And I love the smell of it with the orange. It smells so pretty. So orange is a very sweet, bright, uplifting citrus oil. If you have ever peeled an orange, then you know what this smells like. Um, orange essential oil is found in the peel of, an, uh, of the orange. Same goes for like lemon essential oil. It's in the lemon peel. Um, and if you have ever peeled it, then you're going to have that like bright, like, like aroma in the air and it's just bottled up in here, you guys. Um, so we got that. And then um, this one is Abundance. So Abundance is a really like, like special oil to me. Um, it is used to, or when you use it, it can help you to attract um, prosperity in your life. So wealth, health, um, and it's also used to help magnify joy and peace in your life, um, which who doesn't need that? You guys, I love this. Um, and it has like a very warm, like spicy, kind of musky, like aroma to it. It smells really good. And again, with the orange, it's so pretty. I love to apply this perfume when I'm working, when I'm goal setting, setting out my to-do list, thinking of my future. Um, it just, it smells really good and it makes me feel really good as well. The next perfume roller has these two oils in it. Um, this is Valor and this one is Stress Away. These I would say are probably like two of the most popular essential oils that Young Living has. And everybody is obsessed with these, including me. And there's a good reason for it. And it's because they smell so good and they just make you feel so good as well um, for their supportive like benefits. So Valor is known as Courage in a Bottle, and it is um, really good if you're looking to help kind of inspire more like confidence and courage in your life. Um, and um, it's also like grounding. It has kind of like a sweet, like woodsy aroma to it. More sweet than woodsy, but it's like a nice combination of the two and it smells so good. And um, Stress Away here is exactly what the name suggests. It's really good if you just kind of want to like lower some stress in your life, feel more calm. And it has like tropical vibes to it, in my opinion. It has like a vanilla lime tropical like aroma to it. Um, it smells really good. And um, I love these two together. They're also good just on their own. And sometimes I'll use, I'll just use them on their own, but together they're really pretty as well. So I like to apply this perfume roller in the morning before I get started with my day. Just a great way to kind of start the day with good vibes. And um, also um, maybe like after the workday, if it's been kind of stressful or overwhelming and I just want to feel more calm, then this is another one to put on as well. And again, it smells so incredibly beautiful. And the third perfume roller that I'm going to share with you guys today includes these three oils. And this is a very special one for me because this is the first like roller, like with the combination of these oils that I ever made when I first got started with oils. And, um, I used it all the time and I still continue to use this combination till this day. And it has been just so helpful for me. Um, so it has frankincense, which is a very, like special, special oil. Um, and then it has orange. I love orange. It's my favorite citrus oil. If you do not have orange and essential oil yet, you need to get it. It is so good. If you don't have it, you are definitely missing out. It's amazing. Um, all citrus oils are really nice, but that one's my favorite. Okay. And then the last one is lavender. What I like about this perfume roller is that it has more of like a mild, 
like aroma to it. Um, and it's got a, a couple of different things going on. You have like a little bit of like a woodsy thing. You have a little bit of like the sweet citrus thing. And then you also have like a light floral scent to it. And the three together produce it like a nice mild aroma, which I like sometimes because I don't always want to wear something that's like a really like, like strong aroma or something that's like super deep and like musky or something that's like super sweet. And when I do feel that way, then I reach for those. But when I want something just kind of like mild, this is the one that I tend to reach for. Um, so I like to, um, I was gonna say diffuse. <laughs> you can diffuse these combinations too, by the way. Um, but I like to apply this uh, topically um, right before I go to sleep at night. Um, I find that it's like nice and calming and pretty smelling right before you go to bed. Um, but also throughout the day, whenever, I just want to feel more calm and grounded um, or I just want that like mild aroma scent as my perfume. So those are my three perfume roller recipes. Now, while it's fun to like mix different oils together to create different scents um, and you make your rollers, um, I also wanted to mention that there are some oils that Young Living carries that are good just on their own and you don't necessarily have to blend them with all different oils, which you totally can, um, but some of them are really like beautiful, like smelling just on their own and I wanted to share a few of my favorites with you on what those are. Um, so, um, I've already mentioned these, but Valor is really good all on its own. Stress Away is really good all on its own. Um, and then I have um, a couple others here. Um, vanilla, you guys, this smells good all on its own, but it's also really good in blends. Um, and I tend to reach for this more in like the fall, winter months. Um, I haven't used it a ton yet because I'm in the middle of summer right now when I'm filming this video. Um, it's August, it's actually August 1st when I'm fil filming this. Um, but if you don't have this oil in your life, you need to get it. It is, it is so, so good. It, I want you to think of smelling vanilla extract that you cook with, but so much better because that has more, has like a little bit of like an alcohol scent to it. And this does not. It has like this warm, just like cozy vanilla aroma to it. It's amazing. And you need to get this, especially before we get into like the fall, winter months, you're going to love it. And then I have a few more here that I wanna share. Um, so there's one called Bloom and it's got like a, like a floral scent to it. It's actually added into some of these skincare products from Young Living um, and it smells really, really pretty. So there's that one, it's called Bloom. And then there's one called Joy. This is an awesome oil to use if you are feeling like you need a little bit more self-love for yourself um, and just bring more joy to your life. So whenever I use this, I will just apply it directly over my heart. You can put it on your wrist as well or your neck, but I like to put it here. Um, because self-love around your heart makes me feel happy. Um, so, and it's got um, a beautiful, like mild floral scent to it. Um, this is a combination, um, it's a blend of a bunch of uh, floral oils in here. And before I got it, I thought that it was gonna be like this really intense floral scent to it. But in my opinion, it's not. It's a nice mild floral scent to it. And it's beautiful. The next oil is called Kid Sense Kid Power. Um, so this is actually from the kids line. Um, if you didn't know, Young Living has a whole line for kiddos and they also have a baby's line as well. And um, part of the kids line, they have an oil called Kid Power, um, which is very similar to the Valor um, in terms of like how it can support the body. So confidence, courage, vibes, um, and the scent they nailed it, it's so good. It has like this orange creamsicle scent to it. It's so pretty and even though it's in the kids line, adult, adults can use it too and I love using this oil all the time. And the last oil that I'm going to share um, is called Into the Future. It doesn't really get talked about enough in my opinion but it's a really special essential oil and it's got the most beautiful, unique scent to it. Um, in my opinion, if you're like a very classic perfume wearing kind of person and you just love that like kind of deep perfume kind of scent, then you will love this oil. In my opinion, this is like the closest smelling 
to like a very sophisticated, luxurious, classy perfume that you can get at the department store. That's what this smells like to me, but it's completely natural. There's no fragrance in here. It is just essential oils from plants. This oil can be used to help inspire determination and moving forward in life and leaving the past in the past and, you know, thinking of your future, moving into the future and, you know, with new hopes, dreams, goals, intentions. And this can be a really hard area. Um, you know, minds, everyone says positive mindset is key and, um, you know, think happy thoughts. And that's not necessarily always an easy thing to do. And I always find that using essential oils is very supportive for me in this area um, with my health. And um, that is why I originally got this essential oil was for that reason. And then when I smelled it, I was like, ooh, this, this is like a nice perfume scent to it. Um, so I use it as perfume, but I also like to use it throughout the day whenever I'm kind of thinking of my future and um, like setting goals and intentions for myself. So those are some of my favorite essential oils that I use for perfume. Um, I hope that you guys have enjoyed today's video. Um, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Also, if you would like to see more recipes, I know I only shared three in this video, but if you wanna see more um, and more just education on essential oils and um, you know how to use them in your everyday life, then head over to my Instagram page um, at Holistic and Oily Essentials, and that's where I'm going to be um, giving out a lot of like free content for you guys on how to use essential oils in your day-to-day -day life. My goal, talking about goals and dreams and everything, my goal with that is just to create like this beautiful, like organized library of like resources for you on like how to use oils, how to learn more about them if you're curious. Um, so that's my dream with that. And um, I would love if you guys wanted to go ahead and follow me over there. And if you are a brand new customer with Young Living and you wanted to go ahead and get started and get some of these essential oils into your life and start using them, um, then I would love to help you get started. You can actually get started with me and I have a link down below in the description box. Um, and then next to it, you'll also see a 10% off discount code um, that you can use on your first order, which is awesome. Um, and you have to spend a, a 50 PV minimum in order to redeem that. PV just stands for product value and usually $1 equals one PV. So about $50 in order to redeem the 10% off discount code right there. Um, and if you are going to go ahead and place your first order, I would highly recommend one of their starter bundles. They have a few different ones and I'll show you guys that in just a second, um, but you're gonna get the greatest value and the greatest deal by getting one of those. So if you guys would like to see like how to um, view those and order them, then I'm going to show you that right now. So once you click the link that is in the description box, it's going to bring you straight to the Young Living website and you can scroll over shop and then select starter bundles. And then I recommend the Make a Shift Essential Solutions Kit if you are kind of brand new to essential oils and getting started with them. Um, it's a brand new bundle that they have and it comes with two rollers and four oils along with a diffuser. So it's a really nice kit. Um, you can read about it by scrolling down. And I'm also gonna make another video explaining this kit in like greater detail. But anyway, so um, once you're ready to add it to your cart, um, you can select either add to cart or create loyalty order. Um, if you're going to be replacing products, trying new things, I highly recommend the loyalty order. You're gonna get points back as long, um, along with gifts. So you get a free gift every three months for the first year, along with a free diffuser a month too. And then you're gonna get points back up to 25%, which is awesome. And you can actually see my rewards and my points right here. I'm actually going to be placing an order pretty soon um, and all you pay is shipping on that which is nice so you can select create loyalty order and when you're ready you can select view cart and then once you come in here you can enter in your promo code so the promo code is share yl and there's no spaces and this is what you can use to get 10 percent off of your first order um, which is awesome and then when you're ready to check out, you just click check out. And then here is where you can enter in your contact information and you can choose when you would like your second loyalty order to process. Um, so what day of the next month, 
and then make sure that it is selected that you wanna make this your first loyalty order. That way you get your free diffuser on month two um, and you get that uh, sooner rather than later. And then make sure that you see my name here. This way I can send you some helpful resources to help you get started along with get you into our Facebook groups if you would like to join. They're totally optional, but they are free for you to use when you sign up with me. All right, you guys, so that is all I have for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and be sure to click that subscribe button if you haven't already for more healthy living content, healthy recipes, um, essential oil tips, resources, all that fun stuff. And I can't wait to have you join me here on YouTube as well as on some of my other um, social media platforms, including Instagram. Um, so thank you guys so much again for watching today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Bye.